if the last time you cook quinoa it ended up not leaving the pan or so sticky that you just wanted to no longer cook it or you just want to learn how to cook quinoa perfectly then in this video i shall show four tips easy way on how to cook perfect fluffy quinoa in pressure cooker if you're watching me for the first time i'm elsabeth and welcome to salkami Tip number 1. We need to soak and wash quinoa. Take about half a cup quinoa and soak them for 5 minutes. Now but why do we need to soak quinoa before cooking? The reason is soaking grains helps to remove some of the naturally occurring phytic acid in the grain which helps improve our digestion and of course speed up the cooking process. Okay now but why do I need to wash and wash and then rinse quinoa repeated number of times The reason is quinoa is naturally high in a compound called saponins Saponins in quinoa give it a bitter taste and can make quinoa hard to digest Now even if your packet says it's been pre-washed or pre-rinsed it's a good idea to you know to keep soaking and rinsing it a couple of times Now I rinsed it until the water was clear now we pass it through the sieve and discard all the rinsed water. Now even in this process you lose a couple of quinoa, it's still fine. Tip number 2. Pouring enough water, not less or not more. So in a pressure cooker, take 3/4 of a cup water for half a cup quinoa. Adjust the measurements if you are cooking for more than 1 cup. Too little water can burn the quinoa and too much of water can make it soggy. Fix your cooker on the stove and then keep it at a high flame. Tip number 3. Optimum cooking time. Once the steam comes through the hole, place the weight on it and cook it on high flame until the first whistle blows off. After that, move it to low flame and cook it for exactly 7 or 8 minutes. We then remove it from the stove and allow the pressure to be released. You can see how fluffy the quinoa is. Absolutely no sticky nature here. If you feel you've been getting value from this video, give it a like or a comment or even subscribe if you'd like to watch more of my content and click onto the bell icon as well. And if there's any specific request on quinoa recipes, do let me know. Now that quinoa is cooked, Tip number 4 is why don't I show you a simple quinoa recipe that has high protein fiber and it's a one pot meal kind of a recipe which is sure to save a lot of time as it's a freezer friendly vegan recipe as well check out the video link on the screen and until next time see you later